Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today, I have my baby girl Riley here with me. Um, we're gonna be doing a dental cleaning on her today and I thought I would take you along. Hopefully I can bring you along from the beginning all the way to the end so you can see the entire process. I do have my GoPro with me, so it's gonna be a good time. Desi's here, she's got the hookup. She brought the goods. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> I didn't catch this part on film, but we started by drawing blood for a pre-surgical blood panel and then we placed an IV catheter in her leg so she could receive fluids throughout the procedure. You ready? Once she was anesthetized, my coworker Izzy intubated her and then we were ready to move her over to our CT machine. And here we are now, trying to get her nice and lined up and trying to get those lasers right in the middle of her mouth. And then we also tucked her in with a blanket just to help her maintain her body heat a little bit better. Here, Izzy is running the fluoroscopy, which in this case is just two scans, one at 90 degrees and one at 180 degrees to make sure that we have her positioned correctly and that her mouth is at the center of the scans. And throughout this whole process, he and I are in constant communication so that he knows he's clear to move the machine. You ready? Yeah. Woo! We got Izzy driving the CT machine. Riley's in there. Here we go. Only gonna do the 400 images, and then it's gonna stop and then rotate back. Okay, okay. vitals are good. Continually checking out her capillary refill time and her mucous membranes. Nasty. This is my dog though, so it doesn't bother me that much. In situations like this, always a good idea to try to get a femoral pulse just because during the scan she can't move and you can't be moving your stethoscope in and out of there so from here I can both feel her um, heart rate back here on her femoral pulse as well as feeling her respirate so she is constantly being checked out. Hi mama. We gonna get rid of your stinky breath, okay? Computer's still thinking. So let's clear our image a little better by being part of full dynamic. There's the side view, so let's just go ahead and rotate that into place. And let's swatch back and forth, checking all the different, making sure that we have all the molars, awesome. all the way through to the premolars. Premolars look a little bright and stuff, that's okay. We've got all the teepers. We're good. So far. What's up, guys? Hello! How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> My girl is doing great in there. Awesome. We got the dream team. Dream team. Whoop, whoop. After running the CT, we're good to move her back to our dental suite and get her hooked up to her IV fluids. All right. CT looks good. Okay. No obvious extraction so far. Perfect. You have to uh, take that into consideration while you're doing your your exam here. Uh -huh. Like to start with probing these teeth. 
point around the base of the teeth. It's the most periodontal disease is under your gum line. Yeah. Pathology lies below the gum line. And you can see as I just gently poked those, they started bleeding. Because well, all that device. all that tartar down there, yeah. Look at that white junk on that Mm-hmm. Uncle Izzy monitoring for us. That's right. Woo! This guy right here. So far, I think they just need to get a good cleaning. Great. This. Is, this. <laughs> Dr. Marcus probed all of her teeth and determined, thankfully, that no extractions were going to be needed. So I got to work and started scaling her teeth, making sure that every surface of each tooth was scaled, including underneath her gum line. After I was done scaling, I went in and applied Profi paste to each tooth. After I was done brushing her teeth, I went back in and rinsed out her mouth completely. So that was the end of her dental cleaning and now I'm just trying to dry her off and clean up her face before she wakes up. And lastly, I decided to give her a quick nail trim before she woke up because she absolutely hates getting her nails trimmed, so I thought I'd take advantage of the opportunity while she was still down. We're all done! Say thank you, Uncle Izzy! You're welcome! Woo! So Riley did great. We are out of her dental cleaning. My forehead has a little mark from the GoPro, but that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, we are out of the dental. We're still a little bit drunky over here. She's a little bit sleepy, but she's awake. She did great. Her temp's a little bit low, so we have her here on a heat source. I'm gonna be checking that out every five to 10 minutes or so until we get her back on track. Um, no extractions, thank God. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be because her breath was real bad. But you wanna show them your teepers? No, not yet. <laughs> I wish that the pets could always wake up to their owners. I feel like she wakes up so gracefully with me and I wonder if other patients would wake up the same way if it was their owner's face that they were waking up to, but I don't know. I'm really, really grateful that I'm able to do this. I'm really grateful that I'm able to be there when they're waking up, so I love you. Oh boy, Riley. All right, what are we looking at? So this is a CT scan, mm -hmm. which essentially means there's like 750 x-rays uh, all, in all compiled into this. And every time we move this little cursor here, we're looking at a slice of each x-ray. And what CT does is it allows us to see and reconstruct a three-dimensional model of whatever it is we're looking at. In this case, your, your little dog, this little dog right here. <gasps> Hello. Hi. Big baby. Yeah, so we're looking at her skull. Most importantly for her teeth. Sometimes you can catch you know, different pathologies and different things going on, incidental findings you didn't even know about. Um, but for now, we're just looking at a dental CT. The way I like to evaluate these guys is I will put their image in the center of my screen here. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll move my cursor over. Kind of line up the teeth. 
so that I can see them more in line here. And what we're looking at is we're looking at each tooth and we're looking at their roots and the spaces in those sockets around the roots. Looking for healthy periodontal ligaments, the ligament that holds the root in place there in the, in the jaw. Mm -hmm. okay. um, these are pretty healthy teeth. As we move along, we can see the lowers and the uppers. And what we're looking for are uh, any evidence of you know, any pockets, uh, an abscess, for example, will be like a big black area around the root of the tooth. Um, kind of, kind of looks like a little bubble around. But I mean, these are pretty healthy teeth. Yay! I look at both sides the same way. Make sure that all of the spaces around the teeth look good. And these are very, very healthy teeth. Um, no pathology. I mean, there's a little bit of some gap. There's a little bit of gap spacing here. Mm -hmm. But not enough for me to say, you know, that tooth absolutely needs to come out. Yeah. And they didn't wiggle, really, when we were scaling. Mm -mm. No mm -mm. movement. No mobility. Nope. Just a good cleaning and keeping it keeping it clean will keep it healthy. Cool. Do you ever use the 3D setting? I don't. And I'll show you why. I mean, it's cool. It's cool looking. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you can't see the ligaments, really. Yeah, yeah, so this is a 3D reconstruction of her skull, and we can turn it around. There it is. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool to look at. A lot of times you miss pathology, though, because just like regular x-rays, when you stop moving the image, you're making a three-dimensional image flat. So there's not a whole lot of assessment you can do. And what they tried to do with that <clears throat> is make it so that you could actually uh, take parts of the image out. It looks scary. So I can see this little dot here. I'm going to pull this dot and what it's going to do is it's going to remove half of her face so that we can see the teeth from the inside. So it's just half. So now we're just looking at the, the, the right side. Um, Rotate that cube around again. Just trick finding it sometimes. There's a little knot. Pull back that side. Come over here. And do the same thing to the other side of the face. Remove it. Oh. That way we can take a look. Whoa. Mm -hmm. So that you can see those spaces around the teeth. Looking for any pathology. Again, they all look really healthy. Yay, Riley! If you want to get really, really fancy, and take off the x ray artifact, and, and what the computer will do is it'll actually put coloration to the tissue so it looks like bone. Hmm. Sometimes this is a good thing, sometimes it's. When would you use this? Mm, I, I usually don't, unless I'm, unless I'm looking for like maybe a fracture, you know? A fracture you'd be able to see, like if there was a jaw fracture, you'd be able to see a defect in the jaw there. Mm -hmm. um, which I mean, you would see it on x-ray too, but it's just, it's kind of uh, neat to show owners um, when it actually looks like a, a real skull. Yeah. Again, this is only half of the face. Cool. So you can add tissue effects. Oh, it's, that's it's, it's scary weird. It's weird, looking. Right? Yeah. So you can add more uh, of the colors um, to get more of a reconstruction of, of the face. Oh no! Nope. Don't as, like that. As you take layers away, and you start to get underneath the tissue and see more of the skull. I've actually never seen this use that set. You know, that's that? creepy. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Know we could do that. So there you have it. Healthy teeth. Sweet. Say thank you to your doctor. Yay. <laughs>Okay, so I messed up and completely forgot to get a close-up of her teeth afterwards while she was still under. But here are some pictures of her teeth after she woke up. And as you can see, we got rid of all of that nasty tartar. And now all that's there are her clean and pretty teeth.
I hope you stick around for the blooper reel at the very end. But as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate you watching this. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye, guys. Oh, she's gonna poop. Of course she's gonna poop. We got it. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, we don't have copyrights to that. Okay, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> You look so mysterious when you do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I see what you mean. From the GoPro. <laughs> That's real cute. Wavy head. That's real cute. Safe and sound. <laughs>